Now, you talk a lot about the creation of the earth and life and the universe and everything, but what about the creation of humans? What's your view on uh, uh, abortion and the biblical worldview of that? Okay, I guess I've become famous or infamous, depending on your point of view, for reminding people about one thing. Where we come from actually does tell you who you are. Who you are determines where you're going to, or to put it another way, where something originates gives it its value. What its value is determines what you'll do with it. So... When we live in a society where people look at high school textbooks, they see a little fish-like thing that's supposed to be a human embryo, and then they see it progressing through animal-like features until it becomes a human being. They live in a world where evolution is true, survival of the fittest, you kill spare cats, why don't you kill spare kids? Mm -hmm. right? So abortion has become increasingly acceptable as the value of life has dropped, and hence we have a lot of court cases on when do you decide to kill them, etc. To reverse that, given that the Bible is emphatic, and the Bible is not a scientific document, it's a revelation from the God who was there, as distinct from the scientific conclusions about babies from men who didn't make them. Right? So you find God saying he made man in his image and he commanded us to reproduce. And then you find Eve saying, ah, my first baby, I've received a man child with the help of the Lord. She understood sex. It wasn't just the birds and bees. Right. So in reality, you find the Bible says no children are a heritage from the Lord and they're not conceived just naturally. Boy plus girl plus three minutes. Right. That's not the way it works. God is actually involved in this. And so what you'll find is that the Bible says you will not kill anybody because man has the image of God right from conception onwards mm. and so therefore the value of that embryo the value of a human being is unbelievably high uh, so you therefore take that into consideration particularly when you realize that God who created says I will hold you accountable for what you do to my creation and in the New Testament it says you will not deface the image of God Right, And so away we go, and you can build a moral system on that. But it will be totally different than the legal system you get from millions of years of evolution if you start with six days of creation of man made in the image of God. So I've made a long stand against abortion uh, and reminding people, listen, you women particularly have to be remembering that, A, this is a human being, and, B, there is a God who will hold you accountable. It's not your body. It belongs to God. So what about some who say that uh, it's okay to abort a baby at 20 weeks, 30 weeks? You know, it's, uh, there's different laws in different countries. Um, is is it a human from the point of conception or w at what point does it become a human? You know, people ask these questions. Remember I told you I spent yesterday with a TV producer who'd interviewed Bob Brown mm -hmm. and uh, he was actually sharing a conversation he'd had with Bob Brown about this. You know, Bob Brown, the well-known environmentalist, etc., yeah. just retired from politics, etc., and uh, he said, I interviewed him about, you know, the value of kangaroos and eucalyptus trees and all that. And he said, at the end, I threw in, what do you think about abortion? And uh, and so you get the, the standard environmentalist politician, oh, it's okay sort of thing, right? I'm just summarizing. These are not Bob's exact words. But in reality, he then said, um, how old can the child be while you still abort it? And Bob gave an answer. And then the producer said, what if it's one day younger than that? Mm. Is that too young or is it one day older? Is that too old? Yeah. Good and question. Said, Bob said, I haven't thought this through, have I? Wow. Bless his heart for yeah. admitting that, right? <laughs> but in reality, there is the issue. When we try to play God, mm. we do with a little G and we end up being a big D devil mm. because we don't know how to answer those questions. And in reality, it's far wiser to take the answer that God gives. In other words, I have been conceived. I'm a product of God. Children are the heritage of the Lord. They are not to be defaced. Right, They are to be preserved. They are to be protected. They have incredible value right from the point of conception onwards. And in reality, when you look at this issue, um, on my counsel to women is, A, don't go there. B, even if you have to say, I can't keep this child, I should get it adopted. Right, Give it a chance and don't, whatever you do, get two men to adopt it or two women to adopt mm. it because that is not God's way of doing things either. Mm. Of course, if you'd like to ask a question yourself, just go to the website, askjohnmackay.com. Thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks, John. Bless you.